Hi, welcome to another episode of Transport Fever. I'm Tech Hench, and we're back in the big build in sandbox mode. So what we're actually doing today is actually putting a new train line in. So from the previous episode, as you probably noticed, I did clear a bit of an area around here, clear some of the factories and things like that, and some of the industries to make way for this, or to, for the start of this train line. It's actually going to be uh, between the cities uh, or towns that uh, I connected up last time. So we're going to have a train line. And uh, what I'm going to try and do is actually make it look like a famous landmark. So if anyone's actually seen the, the Harry Potter films before, there's a part in it where the train, I think it's the Hogwarts Express, goes over a place called Glenfinnan Viaduct. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, say it. I'm hoping that's correct. So I'm going to try and create that viaduct in in here in transport fever that's probably not going to look exactly the same but i'm hoping to have it as close as possible i'm not actually sure what train the harry potter train is or the hogwarts express as it's called is um i couldn't actually find it anywhere on the, the uh, transport fever workshop so if anyone knows what it is or anything like that Drop a link in the comments and uh, I shall go and download it and add it into the game. Or it might be even in the game already, I don't know to be honest. But uh, I'm sure one of you hopeful lot will help me out. So it's just going to be a straightforward station as you can see. Uh, it's the modern station. And I'm actually using one of the uh, bus stops that's a mod which actually looks really good. Looks really modern and everything. Which is not going to fit in with the type of train. So what the train I'm going to actually use is the Flying Scotsman. It's a nice train, so uh, and it it kind of looks like the Hogwarts Express. I know it's not exactly the same, but it's sort of similar. So it did take me a second to actually get the uh, track uh, how I wanted it. So on the actual place this is actually the part here where i'm going to make it look like the glenfinnan viaduct at the actual place it doesn't actually go through a tunnel first it just kind of comes around a mountain so as you can see that i'm just going to build the mountain up there really pleased i found this mod as well that makes the mountains and terrain much easier to create. So this whole line is actually going to link up to a station that I've already got down towards the south of the map. It's kind of the main passenger hub. The one I think we did in one of the previous episodes where we put the high speed train from... The high speed train goes down to it currently. So it is going to have to, as you can see, climb a bit of a hill to get up there. Once it's there, it's going to kind of curve around. So what I will do is actually put a picture of the place up so you get everyone can see it and uh, see the kind of what it's supposed to look like and what my version of it in the game looks like. While we're watching this, I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. I'm almost at 150 subscribers, so thank you very much. If you've not already subscribed, why not get subscribed by hitting that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell to receive a notification anytime I put out a new video. I am going to try and do, obviously, as many Transport Fever videos as I can. I'm looking forward to the new patch that's actually coming along soon, and which hopefully will improve. I think, well, I think they're bringing a Mac version out, but I'm hoping with the update that they're bringing out for the PC version, there'll be some performance improvements. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing that. Also hoping to do some farm manager videos in the future. The game's not quite out yet, but uh, I have had a first look at that. So if you, if you want to have a look at a farm manager video, I can link that up in the in the uh, pop-out banner. So 
So I did try and make the track or the mountain as steep as possible next to the track, as you can see, without it actually turning into a, a cliff face. Because that's not actually what it looks like in real life. But that actual viaduct now actually looks quite similar. The bit that I probably didn't get quite right is actually this bit that I'm doing now. So actually behind the track. That from the pictures that I've seen, it's quite steep one side. I couldn't get it looking exactly the same. So what I probably will do is actually take a picture in Transport Fever here of what my end version looks like and then put a comparison in just so everyone can see. One thing I wish it did do the, with the train tool is just maybe make it a little bit smoother when you're pulling the train up. It's one thing hopefully they'll improve if they ever release a, a new Transport Fever, Transport Fever 3. Which I'm hoping to do. Obviously, if they're still actively working on this version and the Mac version, it might be bringing hopefully some new updates out for this. Even some DLC would be nice if they brought some DLC out for the game. The one thing I want to see the most in the game is actually bigger maps. I'd love to see a huge map. This is the... I'm actually working on the biggest map now, so it's the Megalomaniac map. You don't actually know how to... Uh, turn on the Megalomaniac map, but let me know in the comments. Um, I could always do a quick video on it, on how to do it. I think there's plenty of instructions out there, though. So, yeah, a map kind of... four or five times the size of... The Megalomaniac map would be pretty good. Would probably make the aeroplanes and stuff like that a bit more usable. So at the minute, unless with the aeroplanes, unless you have them going from one end of the map to the other, they seem a little bit pointless. Plus, I would like to see huge cities. That'd be great. So it has, it's actually coming on a little bit now, as you can see, and it's starting to take shape around the back. And what it does do there, it kind of does drop down into a, like a valley. It's not quite a valley, but um, it's, it's quite low. And the actual real place has actually got paths that you can walk around. Um, obviously, we haven't got paths in Transport Fever, unless there's a mod that I've missed, which is a possibility. So uh, what I did instead, as you'll see shortly, is just use a bit of a road. The paths actually look quite wide in, in the picture that I've seen, or the pictures I've seen. So um, the actual smallest road actually looks relatively okay. Like I say, if you do know of a, a mod or something that can do paths, that would be great. There are quite a few trees as well around this place in real life. So uh, I will be adding, as you will see shortly, uh, some trees. Do love a load of trees as well, as you know. So again, I couldn't get the trees quite right going up there. I think the, there is a path that goes up into the mountain but I couldn't quite see, so... So the path, or the, the road, isn't probably actually going to do anything. It's just going to be there for show. What I suppose I could do, because this, this is actually a tourist location in real life, and... Um, I understand there's, there's like giant car parks just around it or near it. So uh, 
what I may do is just find out on maybe Google Map, Google Maps or something like that how that looks and maybe make it look something similar. I suppose the only thing I could do is put a bus stop somewhere close. Not that, again, people aren't going to go to it anyway, so... It's a shame well, we can't get uh, tourists to go to places. That'd be quite cool in the game. A bit like you do in uh, City Skylines. People actually just go out. So it is actually taking shape quite nice in there. So most of the place actually around it is mostly grass. Or it looks like it anyway. It might not be. Could be mud, but kind of dirt. I thought the, the grass really looked the, the best. Uh, maybe was, that's the one that I'm using there is the for forest floor. So just to give it a little bit more texture. So the one problem there I've just noticed and didn't notice at the time is that's actually got street lights on it. Probably don't want street lights. One other thing you probably noticed, may have noticed, is on the track I've actually put the electric, whatever you call them, line things. And I don't believe in real life it's actually got them, because it's just a standard track. So I will come back and remove them in a minute. This bit took me far too long to delete all these trees. That's maybe one thing they need to improve, the uh, bulldozer. And we're pretty much, once we've deleted these trees, almost done. All we've really got to do is add the train to the track. And then we should be about finished. So as you can see, you can just, we just have a quick look around it. It does look almost the same as, uh, as the Glenfinnan Viaduct. Maybe the, the back part could be raised up a little bit more or something, but um, and that bit there just didn't quite sit right, but that now looks okay. Possibly needs a few more trees around as well. So just going to remove the. Uh, the electric from the track because we don't need that and because these the, or this track doesn't actually connect to any depot I'm just gonna have to add a depot here I could probably get rid of it at some point because it's not actually really needed once you've got a train on it you can just delete it and, and get rid of it I'll we'll just put the line in as well We'll just get the Flying Scotsman. So I'm not 100% sure if I picked the correct carriages there. I think they are, so... Uh, and they look okay, so that's fine. So, as we just watch the, the Flying Scotsman go over the viaduct, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like. And if you've not already subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button for more Transport Fever. And hopefully some farm manager coming soon. Thank you everyone who's subscribed for so far. Like I say, I'm almost at 150. It'd be great if I could get to there. Somewhere that I never actually thought I was going to get to. So this train should be on its way round. Here it is.
So there we go. So like I say, thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.